Good morning, everyone. Today we wanted to talk to you about dog muzzles. Why might a dog need a muzzle? Well, first of all, if anything ever happens to your dog, come here, Levi. Mr. Levi here once broke his leg. He had a compound fracture of his right front leg. And so sometimes a muzzle is needed. The best behaved dog, when they're in pain or they're hurt, um, sometimes if you need to clip their nails, some dogs don't like their nails clipped. So we wanted to show you how a muzzle works and how to get your dog so that they don't mind using a muzzle. Okay, thank you. You can have it. There we go. So this is my canine first aid kit. And in my first aid kit, I keep all kinds of things that we need. We actually teach basic canine first aid. If you'd like to sign up for a free first aid class, you would call the Pasco Public Library and put your name on the waiting list for the basic canine first aid class. We teach two hours of canine first aid, everything from bleeding to canine CPR. So if you would like to sign up for that, please call the Pasco Public Library. So in my kit, I keep everything in a specific place so that I can find it. And my muzzles happen to be up here at the top. And you'll note that I carry three different muzzles. One is blue, one is black, and one is red. And the reason I carry three different muzzles is because muzzles come in nine different sizes. And if I happen to run into a larger dog somewhere in the world that needs some first aid, I'm always prepared. But you should at least have one for your dog. When is the right time to buy a muzzle for your dog? Before they need it. Because it has to be sized to fit them properly. Even if you get the correct size muzzle, and this one here is a size seven, which fits both Levi and Athena. Athena, up up, please. Come up, up up. Good girl. So this is my service dog, Athena Rose. And Athena has been accustomed to muzzles for a while now, because what I do is when I'm sitting and watching TV and petting her, then I use the muzzle and I let her smell the muzzle and get used to the muzzle, but now she's used to it. So it basically fits like this. It goes over the front of the nose, up around the back of the head and fits quite snugly at the back of the head. So this muzzle does not hurt her in any way, but she can't open her mouth wide enough to bite anything. Okay, so her mouth is pretty much closed. She can wear this muzzle without discomfort, even if they try to fight you on it, it's not going to hurt them. However, you can't leave it on for more than when you need it. You just use it and then you take it off and remove it. I know your brother wants to play fetch. He's just bugging you this morning, huh? To take it off, it has a buckle not unlike that of a child's helmet for a bicycle, and you can just take the muzzle, pop it off the back, and slide it off of the nose. So we get the dog comfortable with the muzzle before we need it. We should always have a muzzle in the size of our dog's snout to make sure that if an emergency happens, we're prepared and we're ready. This is especially important now because as we all know, veterinary care is really hard to come by in this country. The reason for that is that there's a shortage of veterinary personnel. So if your dog is hurt or injured, you wanna be able to do basic first aid on your own just to hold them until you can get them to a veterinarian. So Athena, can we show one more time how we do this? We put this over the top of the snout up behind the head and we clip it and there you have it. You look so beautiful. Yeah, good girl. Thank you for using a demonstration on you. You're such a good girly. And that is how we use a muzzle. If you have any questions about it, just send us an email. We'll be happy to answer for you. Have a wonderful day.